My name is Sarah Bolton, and I'm originally from California. Every year for about six years, my parents would take me to see the Nutcracker. I don't know, something just clicked, like it was just one of those magical moments. I did ballet for several years. That was kind of what I started with. And then um, when I was about 14, I decided that I wanted to really pursue dance like as a possible profession. The fact that I started a little bit later um, was definitely a challenge. People my age were doing, you know, at a different level than I was, so I had to work a lot harder to, um, to kind of get caught up. After graduation, trying to figure out how dance was going to fit into my life because it is, it's hard to make a living just doing dance full time. It's just something that is a passion, you know, I mean, definitely just kind of tried to push through it because I knew that's what I wanted to do. That's one of the things I love about Project Motion is that everybody is so encouraging and it's, such, it's a very nurturing environment. So, you know, you go in to class or rehearsal or whatever it is and there's just kind of this great environment to work in because you really have the freedom to kind of push yourself and take, take risks because you know that people are there to support you. What I wanted to do today is play with that um, beginning section, like we talked about, with some different patterns. And I'm always like coming up with ideas. I love to people. I love to watch people. So sometimes I'll just see somebody, the way they move, or something I read. Music is a huge kind of inspiration. Like that's that's part of the reason why I love dance so much is because of the music. After you know writing about it and kind of listening a lot and just thinking, um, then I'll try to physically get into the studio and um, start to you know work with some movement. I'll just put whatever piece of music that I'm going to use, I'll just put it on and I'll just improvise and just kind of see what comes up. It's kind of like you have to get pull tons of stuff in and then you kind of sift through it and figure out what works and what doesn't work. It's a whole different ballgame when you get your, your dancers in there because, um, you know, I can be in my living room doing something and I'm like, oh, this is great, it looks great, it feels great, and then I get it on dancers and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> don't ever do that again, it's horrible. <laughs> to me that's the, the most fun part is when you actually have the dancers in there and you start to kind of experiment. I'm really interested in relationships, I'm kind of playing with the idea of um, the roles that we play like in society and you know we're given all these different roles, some of them we take on for ourselves and some are given to us by other people and you know some we like some we don't like so that to me is kind of what's really interesting um, about dance and I love that you can take those ideas and you can kind of make them abstract in a sense but then you can also extract things that are very that are very concrete too and people can kind of see both sides of that to me performing is something that I'm a little bit more comfortable with because I've done it for so long it's just kind of natural. I feel like the choreography is kind of a newer thing and I'm still figuring out how how that all works. As a choreographer, it's it is my movement, but essentially I'm slowly giving it over to my dancers and once the show starts, it's completely out of my hands. So you have to let it go. But it's kinda like, you know, like let it go and hope everything hope you've done a good job. I love the the process of choreography and um, I, you know, I, I hear music and I, I see movement, and it's cool to be able to have ideas, work through that whole process, and then actually see like a very visual, tangible display of your idea. You know, because I mean, we all have, I always have tons of ideas. To actually see it come to fruition is, is pretty, it's pretty cool to see that. I've been in, you know, dance obviously and um, I played piano for a lot of years and writing and all that stuff so um, I'm pretty biased when it when it comes to the arts I'm definitely a huge advocate for it because I just know from personal experience how much it can totally enrich your life having the the creativity and everything that kind of comes with it I think has really helped me in everything that I do I love to perform I, I mean there's like no better feeling than 
you know, opening night, backstage, lights go down, and it's time. I mean, there's just like a high, you know, like you don't get that high anywhere else.